So now we're going to look at sleeve styles. We have a half sleeve, a full sleeve, and a sleeve attached to the vest. So we'll go through measuring these various styles uh, so that you know what to do with your patient. Now again, uh, with the sleeves, there's a couple of things you want to remember when, uh, when measuring for them. The first thing is to fill out the burn assessment chart. It's invaluable to us for knowing how to make the best garment possible for you. It helps us to know where they're burned and of course where they're not and so how we can adjust pressures and that type of thing. We do prefer measurements in inches. You can measure in centimeters, but we are a bit stubborn and would prefer inches. Um, you do want to use a water-soluble marker when you measure. And uh, you want to note all the details on the measuring chart right in this section here, uh, especially where you want the zipper. And if you don't want an item, put a line through it so that we know you've considered it and haven't forgotten about it. Um, there's a couple of things on the uh, sleeve chart. One is um, you can get an elbow reinforcing or an elbow lining. A single soft means one layer of soft fabric under the garment. And this just helps with wear and tear. It also helps because elbows are so prone to break down. It gives a soft lining under the pressure garment. A double soft we use if there's real breakdown or problems in the elbow and it's two layers of just the soft fabric not a layer of pressure garment fabric and that just gives an extra soft area for uh, over the joint and of course sometimes you may want um, a silicone inserted lining which as well you could do with the other styles in which case you have to know very precisely where you want it um, and actually in that case it's good to call us first so we can assess if it's possible to do. And of course you don't want to forget the color. Okay, one of the things to keep in mind with measuring a sleeve is that you don't ever want to end the garment mid-muscle. The garment needs to end distal or proximal to the muscle and that's to help give proper anchorage for the garment. When you start to measure you want to circle right or left uh, we get a lot of mix-ups with right and left, so that just helps uh, people to remember, you know, exactly where they're measuring. And um, you do want to keep in mind that all the lengths you give us include the elastic. So you don't have to worry about the elastic, we're adjusting that with the lengths that you give us. Um, be sure the patient's standing. I mean, you can have them sit for a sleeve, but that their arm is straight and, and down at their side. And that gives us the good best measurements. Okay, so now we'll begin to measure. So, the first thing we're going to do is measure a sleeve that's attached to a vest. Now in either case, whether it's a separate sleeve or attached to the vest, you're going to start here. This is your locator, just as on the vest, your armpit measurement is your locator. So you're going to take this measurement, and again, you always want to mark in between where the tapes cross, not above the upper tape or below the lower one. You take your measure, and we're going to note it. And then you're going to get all the other lengths. Often, sometimes you have to have the patient bend their arm at the elbow to see where their elbow actually is, especially on overweight people. Okay, so we're going to come down and mark for... Then you don't have to, uh, by marking ahead, you don't have to uh, keep your marker in your hand as much. Okay, so now we're going to come down and get our circumferences.
And of course, how often you take measurements is up to your discretion. If you're not sure how many to take, take too many. And of course, the more abnormalities that there are, the more often you should take your measures. Okay, so you're putting all your circumferences down the side of uh, your diagram and then we're going to get the lengths and they're going to go down the center. Now the difference in measuring lengths uh, has to do with where you start, of course. So we're measuring for a sleeve that's going to be attached to the vest. So our zero is here at the acromial process point. So we have zero. So that would be your zero up here. So then five. Eight, ten. Ooh, nice even numbers. My lucky day. Okay. So then you have all your lengths written right down in here. Now let's say your sleeve is a separate sleeve, it's not attached to the vest, it's going to stand on its own. Then your zero would be here. So that would be there, and then three and a quarter, and so on down the arm, if attached to the vest. Then again, your zero is going to be up here, and you would just simply take the first three measures, and again, you want to end it past distal to the muscle. So you would have it here. There's your end for it. She would have just started up here and gotten these three circumferences. Now, sometimes you may have a vest with one half sleeve and one full sleeve. In that case, you can write your length measures for the half sleeve along this side, and then for the full sleeve down the center. Let's say someone just needs a half sleeve and it's the bottom half of their arm. What you want to do in that case is have them bend their arm, take a circumference, let's see, let's go like this, there you go, take a circumference with the tape in front of the bend. So the, the top tape is right into the bend. Make your mark, and then you've got your measure at just the right place to end right before the elbow. And then again, you would mark for your circumferences and take them going down the arm and put your lengths in. And of course, it would just be along the bottom half of the sleeve. Now, one other problem you might have is a patient might have a contracture. And in that case, so you're contracted. Okay, so in that case, you're going to take the patient's arm, you're going to put a clipboard behind it, you're going to trace the angle of contracture for us, and then you're going to just make marks looking straight over, so you get them accurately, where you made circumference. Just a couple of them, so we're sure we have a good placement. Then you're going to send that to us, and we're going to angle the pattern to the degree of contracture. Another thing you want to consider with the sleeve, and this goes for the legs as well, is that you always have proper overlap. So let's say you've measured a sleeve and you're going to have a glove. The sleeve needs to end right at the wrist bone and the glove will come up two inches proximal to the wrist bone and that way we'll have a good two inch overlap and you need that because with movement the length of the garment changes on the arms you have to be sure you always have coverage and not a space between the garments so those are all the um, things that you need to know for measuring the sleeve <laughs>